Hey guys, I had this really original, amazing idea to talk about sets that I had either missed over the years or have now retired and I can no longer buy. Take this video as a kind of sets I missed kind of video. Welcome to WatchLego.com. Today we are counting down the top 10 Lego sets that Tommy missed and deeply regrets. We're going to go from smallest to largest set. So number 10 on the list is the Harry Potter CMF Series 1. I never thought I'd be into Harry Potter as much as I am the sort of Star Wars line when it comes to Lego, but this year especially especially with all of the new sets that came out, but recently this year I fell in love with that line of Lego. Actually, I think more than Star Wars now, considering I probably own more Harry Potter sets than I do Star Wars sets, at least that are currently built in my collection. So now seeing these amazing Series 1 minifigures and the fact that I've missed out on them really, really annoys me, and they now go for almost double the price on sites like Bricklink and eBay. Characters like Dobby and Luna, some of the most popular figures in Series 1, can now go from upwards of $15 to $20, depending on your seller. So if I'm buying these in the future, I might try and find them on less well-known websites and just try and make sure they're genuine Lego before buying, trying to buy from people that don't really know what they have. Going down to number 9, and you could probably argue that this is a smaller set than the Series 1 CMFs, but hey, screw it, I missed it anyway, and it's actually the the Bricktober Harry Potter pack. Now this included four minifigures, Madame Hooch, Umbridge, Slughorn and Professor Snape in the Boggart outfit. Thankfully this to buy on sites like Bricklink actually isn't very much but considering what it was to buy at the beginning it's gone up a fair bit but at least it's not going to be a massive hole in my pocket when it comes to buying this set boxed and sealed. Number 8 on the list is actually the Darth Vader transformation. Now this was a set I always wanted to pick up, but it was one of those sets that I always put off buying when I saw it in a shop. It was always one of those sets that I said I would get around to buying later, and then before I knew it, it was retired and I couldn't pick it up anymore. This was a nice cheap way to get a really cool Anakin figure, and also a Darth Vader figure with the new helmet piece. But now that we've got the Darth Vader with the arm printing, I might see if there's another set that includes that Darth Vader, and hopefully I won't miss out on this one. If I can get my hands on a Bespin set, I will. But that's going to be one of those sets that I would much rather keep sealed because I know it will go up so much in value if I keep it sealed. But I can't even get it in my country, so we'll see what happens. Number seven on the list is the Lego Ideas Doctor Who TARDIS set. Now this is a bit of a strange story. Uh, because I actually own half of this set, primarily because my sister actually picked this set up when it was brand new, and I think I fell in love with it more than she did, as the set went back and forth between our displays for a while. I still have the original packaging, and I still have the TARDIS interior, but things like the exterior and some of the minifigures are unfortunately lost to the abyss, meaning my set is now incomplete. I have still some of the set in my glass cabinet, like I say, but it's one of those sets that if I could buy a new again, I would, but unfortunately it's gone up a fair bit in value. I mean the set was £50 new and I don't know whether buying an £80 sealed set is worth considering I own part of it already. Number 6 on the list is a massive curveball and it's actually the Ghostbusters 2016, you know the terrible movie that starred Melissa McCarthy. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, oh. did you want to? Sorry. sorry. I'll let you. I'll let you. Next time. Yeah, that one. They actually released a Lego set based on this film and again it was one of those ones that I was like, oh I'll make sure I get that on a sale because I did not want to pay the full price for this set. Right as this set was going into retirement, my Toys R Us closed down, which made it virtually impossible for me to find this set without buying it online. I haven't looked at Bricklink yet, and I could probably get this set for about the same price that it was when it was coming out, maybe a tiny bit more considering it's retired. However, this would have been such a nice car to put next to my original Ecto-1, which I do actually have, even though the film was absolute I'm all about Lego vehicles and minifig scale cars, and I just believe Lego did a really good job on the car, which is actually one of the best looking things from the film. 100% not as good as the original car, but it was one of those things that at least did that film a tiny bit of justice. Number 5 is the Scooby-Doo Mystery Mansion. Now this is a set I still look out for today. I'm always scouring eBay and Facebook Marketplace and Bricklink for a good deal on this set. I don't actually care for the castle very much. I only really care about the minifigures, and unfortunately the minifigures have gone up so much in value that you're actually better off buying the whole set at this point, from somebody that doesn't really know how much the minifigures are worth on sites like Facebook and 
eBay. Not that a lot of people don't know what they're doing because they look it up and they realise that this set's gone up loads based on the minifigures that are included. So you either find a lot of sellers selling it with just the castle without the minifigures because they want to sell the minifigures for even more money, or you find the minifigures at an extortionate price because they know how rare they are. The main reason I wanted this set is because it includes Velma and Daphne, which I really want for my mystery machine. I actually managed to pick up two mystery machines when it came out. I managed to pick up one that I got sealed and then I managed to buy another cheap one on Facebook Marketplace when my one was unfortunately given to my little brothers and it got lost to the abyss. That day was a truly terrible day and I will never forget it. Number four is the Space Rocket. Not really much to say about this one, I just think it's a really cool set and I remember going to Legoland and actually picking up this set. I had it in my hand ready to buy and I second guessed it as I didn't think it was worth it at the time and now I greatly regret not buying it. I think it's such a cool set and actually looking at its value when it was coming out, I don't know what I was thinking at the time. It was a crazy good price and I believe it was actually on sale in Legoland as well because it was retiring. Before we get to the top three, I just want to go ahead and say if you're enjoying the content and you've made it this far, go ahead and hit that subscribe and like button. If you guys want to be part of this community, please just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. On to the top three. In the number three spot is one of those sets that I was going to buy and just did not have enough money at the time, and it is the UCS R2D2. I'm so pissed off that I missed this set. It's one I scour eBay for today, but it's one of those ones that's climbed so high in value that... I don't actually see myself actually buying this set, it's probably going to be a part out set um, and even then it's going to cost a hell of a lot of money considering those reddish brown tubes go for £20 each on Bricklink. I just wish I'd picked this guy up at the time, same with the UCS X-Wing though I'm not that bothered about that one. The R2-D2 has definitely been one of those ones that I scour the internet for even today to try and get a good deal on one. It would have looked so good in my glass cabinet next to my BB-8 considering they're the same scale. And it's another one of those sets that I really wish I'd picked up at the time. And in this case, I was too young to actually afford it. <laughs> Number two on the list is the Ghostbusters Firehouse. It's another set that I just couldn't afford. I'm not really one for Lego buildings. I don't tend to really collect the the building kind of things, even if they are sort of minifig play scale. The only sets I have in my collection that are buildings are some of the new Harry Potter sets. So I've got things like the Great Hall and then things from this year, stuff like Privet Drive and the Burrow. Those are sets that I thought looked quite cool and are actually worth the money in my opinion. And number one is the UCS Falcon. Looking back on it, I will probably just buy the new one, but even that's retiring at the end of this year, and I'm still trying to find the money and the mentality of going to a Lego store and spending a month's worth of rent on it. I'm pretty sure this set is worth my money, but it's just really tough, and I almost bought it in a Lego shop in London. It was just one of those things that I was on the edge of buying, and I, and I didn't go for it. It wouldn't have been wise at the time anyway. But now I'm in a much better position to buy the current Millennium Falcon, so hopefully I'll pick one up before that retires at the end of 2020, because I believe that's when it's rumoured to retire. We'll We'll see what happens, I don't know if it will, but I'm definitely going to try and get it this year just in case it does. Maybe on a Black Friday sale price, we'll see what happens when it comes to Black Friday. But this has been a nice video, I hope you enjoyed hearing about the sets that I unfortunately missed. If you guys have missed any of these sets, or missed other sets that you think I would have enjoyed, like I say, I love the LEGO vehicles, so if you missed any LEGO vehicles that are sort of minifig scale, I'd love to hear your opinions. So go ahead and put them in the comments below. I'll speak to you guys in the next video, see you later. Oh wait, uh, press the subscribe button. That, that button down there, press it. We're climbing subscribers fast. Be part of this community. Love you guys, see you later.